much more and, for you to put. Uh, these were basically the treatments or barriers for the turbines. And we had an actual um, model for spreading for termite uh, invasion uh, written by uh, by one of the postdocs here in our statistics uh, software. And uh, so we applied it, we, we basically uh, <laughs> linked the tangible landscape and this model and allowed people to no, no, try different uh, way, spatial right? configurations of, um, of the treatments you want to find? and see how, right, if, uh, how effective uh, they were in uh, stopping the termite infestation. infestation. Um, so that was pretty, pretty fun. Um, and again, they had a uh, couple of tries so that they can learn actually from, the, uh, from their mistakes. So similar to the water and fire, um, I mean, there's not enough water fire running to it. infestation, yes, but you also like do like factors right. that contribute to infectious disease, like should be deep. cholera or this is one of um, the most Zika, something you know, like more, more complicated, I guess. Um, yeah, have you tried well, anything like that yet? Well, like, I mean, there might the infestation is not. not Easy. We did yeah. sudden yeah. oak death, yeah. uh, which is again a pla uh, plant yeah. disease, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But we haven't done any infectious hum diseases for humans yet. Yeah. Um, but factors that contribute to that. it's the ecologists here who are working on the mm -hmm. to, like the plant disease model. So we need to have someone from a like human health and epidemiology be writing the model. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. But it, it could be a well, good application. And we can link it to yeah. the yeah. 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 You have to have the model first. Yeah. Which with some of these uh, new kinda. things, they still are trying to figure out what's the model for that. So then you can start to expand it. How popular is this technology? How many universities? Um so we know that on a couple of places they started to build it. Um, there's also a similar project um, called Augmented Geodic Sandbox, uh, which is, I, I guess, focused on a different audience because it um, doesn't, it's more like education. It doesn't have a geographic information system in the background, so your options are limited. Um, but it's kind of more intuitive, I think, for like children. So they're using it for like geoscience education for elementary school students. The resolution's really coarse, but they have a big, usually they have a fairly big sandbox. Um, but they're just using one connector for the whole thing, so the resolution's really, really grainy and coarse. And they're just running.